Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome back to my Juventus Let's Play here on Football Manager 2016. Now, it is currently the 25th of February, and we drew, uh, I don't know whether we, I actually showed you the draw, but we got Basel in the Champions League first qualifier knockout round. Now, I said I think I'd be back to, for either those Roma or AC Milan games, um, but I decided to just extend it, just so I could get back into the save after my exam break. Now, there has been a hell of a lot of transfers, so I think it's time to go through them. So, in I'm not really sure what I've covered so far, so if I go over something that I've already covered, I apologise, or if I miss something out, then ask me in the comments if you uh, if you give a shit about it. But, um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I covered all of these four first ones, because they were going to join before. So Josh Barnett was that left wing back that we brought in to replace uh, Asamoa. Then Gamero, I don't Gamerio, don't really remember him. I'm sure he's a youngster. That yeah, he's back up. Uh, he's gone out on loan to Michelin. Durand, another youngster that's gone out on loan. Depay, obviously a good first team player. Serrano, who has played a bit because uh, he can't. He, he's already played for two clubs, so he can't go on loan. Serginio is a youth player, so he can't go out on loan. So he's at the club. Piracini, I think we've sent out on loan. Yep, at Medina. Uh, Sergin, uh sorry, and Amati is around the club, I believe, as he's played for two clubs. And Antonucci is still around because of, yeah he just plays. Yeah, his star rating is pretty awful, but he's a really good player. So uh, I got to remember that, like, so that I don't sell him. And I forget that we actually signed him for quite a big fee. Um, but yeah, Yildrim uh, as well as he. No, okay, so he was the previous one. So yeah, they're all the ones I've already been through. That's what we've just gone through again by name. Um, but yeah, now the actual January transfer window. Uh, so Lucas Kosterman, he is a right wing back that we've brought in. Uh, he's going to be our second choice behind Damian. Now, Eric Dyer obviously didn't play wing back. Uh, I don't. Wait, did I let Dyer go this transfer window? I did. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm getting used to the save. So, yeah, Kosterman's come in for Dyer, basically. And obviously, Kosterman is slightly worse in terms of like value and stuff. But Dyer just couldn't play wing back right. So, I thought I might as well get rid of him, get in uh, some uh, money, and we got a pretty healthy profit, to be honest. Uh, well, five odd million wasn't that amazing but yeah so um we've sort of traded in diet for uh lucas costerman moises abanas is coming for as another second choice keeper we've loaned out odero i felt like odero donnarumma and rajkovic all i had to put on loan because i wanted them to get some first team football uh so yeah i brought in ibanez as my second choice and he's also another youngster that i sort of want to get first team football it's always the way with young goalkeepers uh, Rooney, I saw him on the transfer, free transfer market and I was like, I've got to bring him in. I've played him a couple of times so far and he's done alright, uh, to be fair. And yeah, I just, I just saw him. I was like, he's also an under 18 coach, which will help with the youngsters. Uh, and Sila, he is a youngster that we've loaned out to Rio Ave. 7.5 uh, 7 million from Bordeaux. Decent youngster, some decent technical stats, but mentals are really good and so are physicals. And he can be a good defender. Uh, positioning 15, I also quite like and yeah he's got plenty of room to grow and finally Eric Lamella uh, we've changed tactic again uh, I think you haven't seen them I've got two ones I actually do use quite often both of them uh, and yeah Lamella fits into the one of them uh, so yeah he we brought him in for Tottenham he was on the transfer list for 11.75 million I thought I might as well get, get him in so this is one of the tactics and this is the other uh, so they're pretty similar in terms of the back well, the central midfielders, the wing backs, and the central defenders are the same, but the, the front three are different uh, depending on which formation it is. Uh, and I think the role of Pogba is a, a little bit different, and some instructions are different. But yeah, um, th yeah, this is this is the tactic that we're going with. Uh, so far, it's worked fairly well. Um, it still needs some like touching up. But yeah, today we have Basel, and our Champions League squad is like very very bare we've got injuries to Dybala, Romero, Martial and Varane uh, and obviously a lot of players are unregistered so that's it's going to be quite difficult uh, we're going to have to go with four on the bench today um, but yeah enough on that we're going back to transfers for the time being so that covers all the ins uh, Andres Iniesta now we brought him in at the beginning of the season hasn't played hardly at all so I thought we might as well just get rid of him we actually made a profit of 350k pretty good but I'm sure we spent more on wages over the season uh, of course, and Sila has gone out on loan. We've mentioned him. Or Dara. Now he is the one. That, he's gone out on loan to Borussia Dortmund as a first team goalkeeper. I think he's playing all their games. Uh, or okay, he's playing quite a few of their games. But yeah, he's uh, he is going to be like playing first team football at Dortmund. Dortmund obviously a very good club. So I thought it was quite a good move for him. That's why I, want, I wanted to uh, bring in another goalkeeper. 
but I've started a bit too into it. Hang on, let's go back to here. So, Rojo came in for Depay, you already knew about that. Piracini's gone out on loan, Gamero's gone out on loan, Martin's Indy now, we sold him to Napoli for 18.25 million. I thought we had a bit too many centre backs, even though we do have three in our formation, uh, we've got a lot of youngsters to come in, so I thought I might as well cash in. Uh, Napoli were interested, and although it's sad to see him go, uh, we've, we've let him go. Uh, for a little bit of a loss actually. Uh, Nicholas Stark we finally got rid of. Uh, don't play a ball winning midfielder anymore and to be frank he shouldn't have been a first team. He shouldn't have been our best player in any position. He's just not that great. Uh, we signed him for a huge 29.5 million because of his release fee just to get in a ball winning midfielder that was half decent to be fair. Uh, and we've we've ended up selling for 9.5 million but I've quite, I, was quite, I was quite happy with that to be honest. And uh, yeah, to be honest, it's all about the money. We've got tons of money. I mean, uh, we could just sell a few youngsters for about twenty million a pop. Um, so yeah, it's not it's not about money. But yeah, Stark gone out. Uh, he's not going to get football. Sorry, did just not the table. Asamo we finally got rid of because we brought in Josh uh, Bar Barnett Barat Bar 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 Barnett. There you go. Um, we thought we could let Asamo go, and he's gone to Palermo for seven point five million. Quite a good uh, little bit of money in. Now, originally, I thought I was only going to have the one tactic, which was the one with no wingers. Uh, so I did sort of think that I didn't need Hamadi anymore. And I think Hamadi isn't actually good enough for Juventus. So I've loaned him out to Salta uh, for the, until the end of the season. I'm probably going to sell him at that point. Uh, decent player, but just not what we're looking for. Christoph Duran's got a loan. Yep. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, Pedro. Um, again, when I didn't think I was going to need any wingers. Also, Pedro aging, so uh, we've got rid of him uh, to Fulham for 4.7 million. Uh, Rodrigo, Eli, and Salvamini are two players at the start of the season that I told you that I saw them on the transfer market, market recognised their name, and knew I could make a profit, and that's exactly what we've done. We bought them in for free, loaned them out until January, and then we've just sold them for 1.4 million. That is a great profit. Um, even though it's small compared to some of our deals, it's still very good. Same exact situation with Rodrigo, Eli. We loaned them out. Uh, after picking him up on free to Feyenoord and he's just gone for 1.2 million to Vincenzo which is a very good deal indeed Eric Dyer we've already talked about, Odero we've talked about Salvamini we've talked about, Luca Clemenza uh, he's gone out uh, to Norwich for, for 2.5 million pounds now he's now worth 5.5 but yeah he was one of those youngsters that we, we were never realistically going to play although he is very good he has reached his peak and it is just not quite good enough for Juventus so we've let him go and uh, yeah, good riddance. So we made a profit overall. He was actually a youth academy prospect, so I was quite unwilling to let him go. But in the end, that's what we've had to do. Uh, so yeah, let us now get into the actual gameplay. So we're playing just Basel today, um, and then the next episode will be the next Basel leg. Uh, see if we can uh, finally do well, get through in the Champions League where we've deserved to before and we haven't actually managed to get through. Uh, we're going to go with this tactic today, which is the. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. Hang on, I'm just going to create a new tactic and see what Football Manager calls this. So uh, it is wing back there, there, uh, there, and there. What would, they, what would the Football Manager calls it? Four. Oh shit! They would call it a five-two-three wing back wide. So that's what we're playing today. Uh, let's get just do a quick pick. Oh god, it's just got rid of all my changes. <sighs> no, actually, no. I'm going to leave Damian in. Wait, no, no, no. I think I just stuck with the quick pick, actually. Oh, no, I might have moved him. No? Did I? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. But this is what we did. We put Bia Lickham in field. So, yeah, this is the team today. We've got Courtois in goal, Mario, Suma, and Chiellini cross back three. Damian and Gaia as wing backs. Bielik and Pogba as centre mids. Lamella on the right, Bale on the left, and Barbosa up front. Um, usually, these guys are wingers on attack, but with Lamella, I've put him inside forward. Same with Barbosa. So let's summon the team finally and get into this Champions League first quali uh, first knockout round, first leg in Switzerland. Borussia Dortmund playing Real Madrid. That's quite a um, uh, cool tie, I guess. Um, let's say go out and carry on. Uh, your oh didn't actually mean to press no pressure, but okay, it's worked out. I mean, none of them seem to react badly to it. So yeah, let's. Uh, Basel should be a beatable team. I'm quite like surprised that they managed to get to this stage. So we should be looking at an easy win over two legs here, and uh, Barbosa loses out there. Zuma, Pogba, Pogba out to Lamella. Can we create a chance early on? Barbosa hits the shot, and it's just wide. Not a bad effort at all. And we already uh, show signs of intent here in Switzerland. Pogba now 
Finds Gaia. Gaia into Bale. Bale hits the shot, and I think that hit the bar. Vacic with the save onto the bar. Lamella now with the corner. El Nenny gets it to Barbosa. To Bielik. To Damian. To Mario. Oh, Xhaka gets it clear. And Juventus, so unlucky. They're almost taking the lead. Chiellini. Why did I say Juventus? I, like, I should have probably said like us or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bit out of it. I'm still a bit ill. You might have heard from... Uh, you might have seen a Euro 2016 episode, which well, probably when this comes out will be about two months ago. Um, but uh, I'm recording this around the same time. So uh, I am still a little bit ill. But Pogba gets it to bail to Barbosa. Barbosa's up the line. Barbosa, Lamella gives us the lead in Basel. Eric Lamella with his first goal for the club. Nice play down the left from uh, Bale and Barbosa. Finds Lamella who gets the goal. And we it's good to get an early foothold. I've realised I never went through any of the fixtures. Which I will do after this game. <laughs> if I remember. Um, I just, re just realised that I'm in recording. God, I'm such an idiot. Um, it's just a lot to go through in these episodes. Because I keep coming back to this save after like long breaks. It's very hard to keep getting used to it. But hopefully now I will uh, be playing it a little bit more and I, I I keep coming back to it because it's such a good save like I could have quite easily given up on the save considering we're in like our fourth year we still haven't won the Champions League and this should have been relatively, relatively straightforward but I've enjoyed it so much despite the fact that we're not like winning Champions League because we are still winning a league uh, we won the league every season bar one I believe we almost won it that year despite having a horrible start um, there's Bale finds Barbosa Barbosa gets fouled by Kenny or Tigba and it's oh it's a red card okay I did not expect that. Okay, Basel down to 10 men. Can we capitalise straight away? Damian. Barbosa. Oh, that click gets hold of it in the end and he will clear. Alright, guys, I'm back. Sorry about the cut there, but um, uh, I was just uh, I was just stopping to it because I got distracted by something anyway. And I've come back and I've pressed play because I forgot this was a recorded game. And I've just pressed play and then I've just realised and we've scored. <laughs> so apologies, you've missed the actual like live reaction to this but we're going to just watch this in 3d now we have taken a 2-0 lead which is fantastic i should be happy about it but yeah that was a bit of a mistake by me um chiellini getting it in i did realize about the 45th minute but i thought i'd just get it to half time and then just uh carry on from there but then barbosa unexpectedly scored as you just saw so 2-0 half time really happy with that nice to get a goal uh, right before half time although i didn't obviously didn't think we would and uh, yeah, we're looking really, really comfortable and looking good going forward as well. It looks like we're being fairly clinical, which is something we have lacked in the Champions League in the past. And with two away goals, it, you can't help but think that the tie is really already over, um, unless Basel do something pretty special. But Chiellini, find Pogba, Barbosa. Chiellini is having to play today. That's how bad our defensive situation is. Got uh, Lamella uh, in terms of Champions League. I mean, in the league, we're fine. We've got plenty of players but yeah Lamella gets in Xhaka away Barbosa I assume I assume that's the uh Xhaka that's just signed for Arsenal I think he is yeah he is Swiss so that would be a uh like regular signing um uh is it Xhaka Xhaka no it's Tolant Xhaka never heard of him let's click on him just quickly oh okay no they didn't want me to um Borussia Dortmund actually interestingly taking the lead against Real Madrid in the other game. Kennedy, the uh, Chelsea youngster, getting the goal. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got uh, a cold still. Courtois claims for the corner, but Basel do get an attack there, which is um, a bit uh, against the run of play. Uh, though, you know, they're, they're allowed to have attacks, but I would prefer it didn't happen. <laughs> but here they come again, actually. Suk Hyun Jin out to Xhaka. Damian with a really good tackle there. Barbosa. Loses out, Kuzmanzovic, uh, Chiellini, Gaia, Bale, we win the ball back, here comes Gaia again, Chiellini, Bale, nicely worked there, can Bale get forward, he can't, inside to Pog, Pog finds Bielik, great ball through, and Barbosa should have done better there, fantastic little shot through, there was a very tight space there, and uh, it was a good pass, but unfortunately Barbosa couldn't do anything with it, and uh, I think it's time to make some substitutions, Barbosa's going to come off uh, for... We've not got a lot of choice, so I'm going to just go with Paolo Lucia, but I know he can't play uh, complete forward, so we're just going to play him as a trek. And Pogba is going to have to come off for Sabeos. That's quite a nice change that he, he can play there, yeah. So let's confirm those two changes and uh, get on with the game. Gaia getting forward to Barbosa. Oh my god, we've got a, like four on two here, but they're getting back very quickly. Bielik 
wins the corner. But yeah, we probably should have done better with that. Look at looking at Basel's formation, they're playing a very narrow formation. Uh, I think we've already got to exploit the flanks on there, so there's no point in doing anything about that. I think I might just put it forward to standard just to see if we can get another goal. Paolucci going in there, Zuma, Bale. Bale with the shot, and it is over the crossbar. Chiellini now, looks about Bielik, Lamella. Lamella finds Sabeos, Sabeos finds Zuma, Zuma to Lamella, Lamella, well he's lost it through, Sabeos, ah, damn, Zuma, Bielik, Damian, Lamella, finds Gaia, Gaia into Sabelos. Sabelos out to Damian, Damian, Lamella, good, 1-2, Lamella, will he shoot, he does, and he gets blocked, Gaia still in possession though, Sabeos, out to Damian, Lamella now, great ball out to Gaia, will he get it in low, ah, damn, it's blocked, by the Basel defender. Doesn't look like we're going to actually get this third goal despite pretty much dominating the game if you look at the match stats. Uh, let's make our final change now. Zoom is looking very tired. Uh, I'm unkeen to bring on Klosterman at centre back, but we might as well for the last couple of uh, minutes here. I mean, I know he won't be able to play there very well at all, but I think he will just hold out. And there we go. Uh, it's pretty much the end of the match now. I think the referee will blow any minute. Suchi on the ball. Alright, looks like it's carrying on a little bit. I uh, hope Basel don't score, but there you go, it's coming out of play. And at St. Jacob's Park in Basel, we get a very lovely 2-0 win, which should stand us in good stead for the next leg. Now, before we, uh, before I leave you, uh, we're going to just go through the fixtures that you guys missed, which is a lot, to be fair. So I, I believe the last match uh, was the nap league game actually I'm not sure no it wasn't the Napoli game that was before the uh, that was after the international break would it have been the Legia game or the Inter game I think it was the Inter game anywho I'm going to go from the Inter game apologies if it was yeah because I remember because I was like I should have done the Torino okay so yeah I think the Legia game was the one, first one that you haven't seen so yeah we beat Legia 4-0 in the final uh, group game we did get yeah so obviously we didn't show the draw so if we do look at the group now uh, we can see that we did finish top of the group with 16 points, 5 wins and a draw. Olympiacos qualified with us ahead of Arsenal, which is kind of cool. Uh, and yeah, good 4-0 winning against Legia on the final day. Romero, 2 from Martial and Chiellini with a penalty getting the goal. Uh, we then played Fiorentina twice in a row, both at home. Martial actually gave us a 3 minute 2-0 lead in this one. Can't go on back, but uh, that's how it finished. We beat them in the cup 1-0. Bale with the only goal uh, 14 minutes from time. Another 1-0 back in the league this time. Empoli uh, getting the uh, well, us getting the win against Empoli, a Dybala penalty, the only goal. We then did go for the international break. Sorry, not the international break, the winter break, uh, where we played one friendly, beating Independiente, uh, the Argentine side. I think Argentine might be Brazil, but I'm pretty sure it's Argentine. With Sabeos, Ivancic, Martial, and Dybala getting the four goals against Sampdoria back in the league. We've won. Uh, we scored another four goals in a nice four one win. Martial with two, Dybala with one, to Pai with the other, Moisander did get sent off early on and there's still Silvestri did get Sampdoria's goal. We then got our disappointing draw in the league against Pescara, we were 1-0 up for a lot of the game but they got an 88th minute equaliser through Lapadula. Pescara are a good team in this save uh, so I wasn't too unhappy about it. Uh, we did manage to get a nice 3-0 win next game against Napoli, this was fantastic. Ivancic, Depay and Varane, Varane getting the goals. We then actually went out of the Italian Cup. now. This was really disappointing. We hadn't lost a competition domestically in quite a long time, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, this was quite kind of annoying, but all the goals came between the 41st minute and half time, which was amazing. It was such a... I think I tweeted about it. It was an amazing, like, piece of action. Um, and, yeah, Erasmus, Zuma, Mag uh, Martial, Magnussen and Swager with the goals. I mean, it was just ludicrous. They scored twice on the 45th minute. Uh, it was a great game, uh, but unfortunately we came out on the losing side. But we did return to the league action with a nice win against Roma, Barbosa and Andono Serrano, who's been a very good signing, let me tell you. He has got uh, chipped in with some goals and some assists. Uh, but yeah, I'm sort of going off topic. So yeah, we returned to the league again after the Roma game. We didn't return to the league, we carried on with the league. This was a really disappointing result. Like The other like losses and draws that we've had have been sort of deserved by the other team, but this was just stupid. We were just so bad in this this match, um, and we just couldn't create anything. We defended poorly, and our Chin Pong and Bacchus goals gave Chia with the 2-0 win. We did respond perfectly, though, against Barrier. 4-0 win, two from Barbosa, an own goal, and Bale with it. 
again going back to a loss afterwards. We had loss. We had win loss, win loss, win loss, win um, for this period. And yeah, this was unfortunate. Though Pogba did get himself sent off annoyingly, and Samir got the only goal of the game seven minutes from the end to get AC Milan a win over us at our ground, which is annoying. But now we've had three wins. Uh, Palermo, a one 0 win. Barbosa with the only goal. Sassuolo getting beat by Depay's only goal. And then obviously the match you've just seen against Basel. So this is the end of the episode, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Sorry if it's a bit too long. I have waffled on about a lot of things. And obviously I forgot about this, which is stupid. Uh, but yeah, the next game will be against Basel. So we'll go through the Cagliari, Udinese and Navarro games first. Before the game, hopefully, this time. And then hopefully we'll whoop Basel and get through to the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, smash the like button. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I've been the FM Gaffer. And I'll see you guys next time.